things that we, you may need are a Christopher. Well, hello. Welcome to vlog number two. So today we're gonna make some cheeseburger egg rolls. Yeah, okay, so cheeseburger <laughs> egg rolls. <laughs> Inspired by Disney World. Cheeseburger egg rolls are back at Disney World and we're not going to Disney World until October and we can't wait. We've never had them before. I found this recipe on all recipes. I'll try to link it if I can find again, but let me tell you, I'm excited. Yeah, if they're not there when we're there. I'm gonna be so upset. I'm gonna be one unhappy camper. So anyway, so here's the ingredients, guys. So what you need is a half of a white onion chopped, a half a cup of pickles chopped, a couple of shakes of Worcestershire, two tablespoons of yellow mustard, a cup of oil for frying, four ounces of Velveeta, and water for your egg rolls. Um, egg roll sheets, a thermometer for frying, ground beef, and parchment paper, and a big bowl. And a pan. That's over there. Is I'm gonna go ahead and throw the oil in this uh, pan here. You gotta get it to 360 degrees is what they recommend, but really, it can be as hot as 280 to 300, and then you just- It just cooks it faster. Yeah, it just cooks it faster, but you can keep it in there and keep it until you want it as crispy as possible. It's a, it's a um, preference kind of deal. The first step is to get a pan for uh, cooking your meat in. I would not recommend using this pan. If you have an actual frying pan, <laughs> Use that, but we don't have, we only have one, and one of them's heating up our oil right now. We're using a pound, and last time it made six. Like eight. It made, it made enough to feed my fat soul. The next time that we see you, we'll have brown ground beef. I'm just adding the onions here, so when the beef is all the way cooked, um, the onions will be all the way cooked. When it's done cooking, you drain all of the beef juice and put it into a bowl. Disney is like stepping up their snack game at Disney World anyway. I feel like Disneyland always has a bunch of cool snacks and Disney World is kind of like behind on the snack game. But they just released, re they re-released these and then Starbucks has a really cool cupcake out right now. And then there's also a key lime and Sprite float with a little chocolate uh, feather in it. And it's like a Peter Pan float, and it looks so good. And if those aren't there when we're there, I'm gonna be really sad. Although, when we're going, the Not So Scary Halloween Party will be there, and they have a bunch of cool treats and stuff. Yeah, I'm excited for that um, the key lime float. I'm about that. I love key lime. I don't know about the chocolate feather. I know your monster appetite is gonna be all about that. I'm about that life. Chris, we're gonna take over because I'm scared of burning myself. Can I see the special? Nope. Now you add it to your bowl. So now that it's in your bowl, you add the cheese. Go ahead, love. Okay. Now it's nice and hot and steamy. It's gonna melt, you know? It's gonna grind down to a paste. You wanna mix it? Ooh. Our Mickey spatula that we got at Food and Wine Festival last year. You go ahead and turn on our oil. Get it nice and hot. Go ahead and cover that. Alrighty, now we're gonna add everything else. We're adding our mustard, the Worcestershire sauce, all of the picos. Yum. And then you mix all that together. Now get your station ready. Egg rolls are sticky, people, after they get wet. Welcome to How Do You Roll Your Egg Rolls with Jordan. How I roll my egg rolls is, you take a scoop. Oh my God, this looks so good, I could eat it like this. You take a scoop. I like to put a lot, these are kind of big egg roll sheets. And then you take it this corner and you tuck under the meat. And then you have your little bowl of water here, you stick a finger in it and you make, trace the outline on both corners, on both sides. And then you fold over, fold over, and then you roll again. And then you trace like an envelope, like you're looking an envelope, and roll it again. And you have egg roll. And then you put it on your pre-lined pre um, baking tray. And then you do that 
however many more times until you're done. Take your little roll here, drop it in the oil. Ooh, sizzle. Sizzle britches. Take it. Ooh. Yeah, it's best if you do more than one at a time. Yeah, we're gonna do four at a time. That's all of our pan allows, but you know, if you got a big enough pan that fits uh, six or five, go for it. Roast, roast, roast away. This is all that was left. And it's not enough to make two, and it's a little too much for one, so it's gonna be a big one. Ooh, that's a fat daddy. Alice, are you excited for the cheeseburger egg rolls? You can't have any. Oh, for you. well, you know, we still love you. I know Kiva's excited. Kiva doesn't get any either. Kiva, come here. <laughs> He's a pretty girl. Yeah, she cook girl. I needed Christopher to help me with this recipe because I'm scared of frying things. <laughs> She's a wussy. I am. They are kind of dark. Yeah, I'll give you two that one. That one that was a little too long, I suppose. I wasn't really keeping an eye on it. But that was really short amount of time. That was like maybe two minutes. Well, these are going to be some crispy boys. Oh, I love crispy boys. <laughs> um, also, it's important to note that it doesn't really matter how long that they're in there for because everything on the inside is already cooked. So it's really just a preference of like... Do you like your egg rolls, Bert? Do you like Christopher them? does, apparently. Excuse me, sir. What are you doing? Oh, you playing with your toy? Good boy. That was a great time. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Crispy. Extra crispy. Whoa. This is what everybody really came for. The pepperoni. Christopher's creeping on the neighbors. It sounded like there was a party, man. Sorry, <laughs> I just want to check out the channel. Let's see. Excuse me, we're going to creep on the neighbors, too. There's no party. Are you guys ready to see the egg rolls? Oh my god! They look pretty crispy, man. Like, they look the exact amount of crispy that you'd really want. Except for when you flip them over. And this is pretty good. Kind of crispy. Kind of, kind of good. You did such a good job, babe. Last time, I think we undercooked them. <laughs> but I didn't want to overcook them, so... Oh, here. Let's try one of the bites. It's gonna be so hot. So good. Woo! Is that hot? Hot. It's, <laughs> yeah, they probably really hot. Okay, I'm scared. What if they're not as good as last time? They're better. Cause they're crispy. We all know how much it's you like crispy. It's so hot. That's the hotter one. That's one of the newer ones. That's gonna be way too hot. <laughs> that's gonna burn, yeah. You gotta go for the darker one, because that's the first batch. Mmm, mmm, mmm. It is so good. Can you taste it? It's, the yeah. <laughs> now, also, it's important to note, <laughs> I don't like mustard or onions, and this is so delicious. I've never had a Big Mac, but would you just say that it tastes like a Big Mac? Not really, just because... Because I hear a lot of people say that the Disney ones do. I have, probably, but these just, they don't have that kind of thousand islandy kind of thing going. There's no special sauce, you're saying? Yeah, but I don't really, I don't ever eat mustard on my burgers. This has a pretty prominent mustard taste, so. You hear that crisp, crispiness, crunch. Yeah, you loser, you're eating it with a fork. This is a finger food. Oh, I didn't get ketchup. What am I doing? I mean, living in the past. 
<laughs> in the dark ages, before tomato puree and vinegar was invented. I knew something was missing. It was ketchup. The world's most popular condiment. The best condiment. I would assume. I don't you should shake it up, it's gonna get. Oh, okay. Already did. A wet ketchup. You know, when you don't shake it up and water just comes out. I just call that false ketchup. <laughs> Fake ketchup. Ketchup juice? You phony. Looking pretty good, pretty crispy. I got some ketchup for mine because, you know, I like that. That's what I say is. Um, okay, answer my question. If you had to get rid of three rides at Disney, what would they be? It's a small world. Without a doubt. Would even think twice about that one. That one's gotta You've go You've never first. ridden it. I don't have to. I just have to watch YouTube videos of it. Oh my god, so hot. <sighs> I don't know what the other ones. Does that have to be a Magic Kingdom? Barnstormer. And, well, if I had to, that, that means you're saying I have to. These mm -hmm. are choices. Um, and uh, I was saying I would like to. God, name some rides. I don't know, man. I'm having a hard time. I would get rid of Carousel of Progress. What's that? Hall of Presidents. Um, Tomorrowland Speedway. You've never ridden Carousel of Progress, but it's really just an air-conditioned ride. And you go through the years and the like technology advancements. It's basically um, like Magic Kingdom's Spaceship Earth. How many days until we go to Disney World? 102. I think. No. Echo. How many days until October 24, 2018? There are 102 days until oh, October 24, 2018. Oh, it's Saturday? 24, 20, yeah. I was looking at Fridays. <laughs> I was like, I'm pretty sure it's 102. <laughs> I was looking at Fridays. Man, these are... Look at this. This is like... You know what? This has turned the, into a mukbang. What? A mukbang? Or a mukbang, however you say it. It's like uh, an eating show on YouTube where people eat their dinner and talk to each other. And it's very popular for some reason. <laughs> for some reason. This is like, that is all even golden brown. Like that is, I'm not trying to do my own horn, but like, look at that thing. Except for this line. Yeah, but it, that's up to the roller. The, the roller has to make it um, excuse cylindrical you. in that sense. We could have used more Otherwise, oil. Otherwise, yeah, totally could have uh, made it perfect. We should. We could have used more oil. Oh, okay, sure, yeah. We're just going to put this back on me. Although no. it's clearly the shape of it, you know, whatever. Okay. <laughs> Our mukbang continues. What, what are you saying? It, that's what it's called when people eat and yeah, talk. What are you saying though? Mukbang. Mukking. Mukbang. Mukbang. Or mukbang. See, that's where I was getting confused on. You were like, my mukbang. No, <laughs> was like, mukbang or mukbang. I don't is know. Is that English? To, <laughs> I don't think anybody actually knows how to pronounce it. I want another dog. No dog. Why? We need a house. I've said this before. Like when we rent a house, me and other dog. Mm-hmm. Mm. What kind of dog would you want if we got another? 
No, we're not getting another Atlas. Why not? Because he's a little turd. That's the best part. No. You never know what you get. No. I want a medium sized dog. But he's a good turd. Like, he listens really well. No, he does not. Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. You say go to bed, he goes to bed. You say, Atlas, lay down. He lays down. You say, Atlas. Atlas, lay down. He didn't lay down. Lay down, baby. But he's trying to figure out what he's <laughs> But he, he, this is the thought that counts. He's trying. No, like, he's he doesn't not. know what you're saying. Watch. Atlas. Lay down. Lay down. Kiva, sit. Lay down. No, sit. Yeah, see, he does not listen. Yeah, but he's more fun. Oh, he's not. He's just little. Yeah. Y'all are some beggars. He's more fun. No, oh, he's not. <laughs> I'm going for a third. You want to split a third? I gotta save room for donuts. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, I want another bed. Like, well, let's get donuts first, and then we will. <sighs> My carb heavy. You want half of this one? I'm not gonna be able to finish it. Eat what you can, though. I'll finish, like always. Whenever Scavenge. Christopher orders at um, a restaurant, he keeps in mind that I'm probably not gonna finish all of mine, so he's gonna have to eat it. These are so good. You guys should make these at home. They're so easy to make. Yeah, it's like pretty much making a cheeseburger. Easy mode. Except without buns and a fryer of sorts. Like some and kind you of... ground it instead of cooking a patty. Yeah. So it's something like a burger. That's <laughs> it is. It's got all the same ingredients. I mean, it's got the same ingredients, but it's something like the process of making a burger. It's a little different. But tastes quite the same. It, it's delicious. The rolling might take <laughs> take a, a couple of tries to get the hang of. Christopher and I both have worked in the restaurant industry, so we know how to roll a breakfast taco. So if you know how to roll a breakfast taco, um, that's basically how you roll an egg roll. Or a taco. You know, like a roll taco, not like a crispy taco. But I just said that. You said breakfast taco. Oh, Ain't gotta you be mean breakfast. a burrito? A rolled up taco is a burrito. No. Yes, it is. A burrito is a bigger taco. A rolled up taco is a burrito. Uh, Who no. rolls up a taco? If well, it's, in, got crispy if it's tacos, enclosed. Crispy tacos are not rolled up. That's, that's what I'm impossible. saying. That's what I'm saying. If, it's, yeah. if a taco is rolled up, it's a burrito. No, no, because a burrito is a bigger taco. A burrito is like a big taco. A taco, it has to be open. Which is why I think that where we worked, we were actually serving small breakfast burritos. Not really tacos because they were enclosed. If a taco in a, if a taco is in a soft shell and it's rolled up, that makes it a burrito. I don't know. I think it does. Let us know in the comments below. I think a burrito is just a bigger taco. Okay, so you're telling me <clears throat> if you had a great big tortilla and it was like this and you ate it like you would eat a taco Unfolded that makes it a burrito No, no you fold yeah, it. Yeah, it has same. to be folded. No, no. who folds a taco besides a breakfast taco? You I'm may have so, a point. I have a point, <laughs> I know. Taco, you don't You may be onto food. something, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's all starting to connect. It's a mini burrito. <laughs> At least, where, like every, at least where we did it. Every um, <laughs> every Taco Bell item is the same. The it's the same five ingredients, yeah. but made differently. Yeah, same idea. I don't really go to Taco Bell that much. Well, it's time to take the dogs out and then go get some donuts like we need extra food. I mean. Cheat day. Yeah. This is our cheat day. Yeah. Every anyway. day. Every day is my cheat day. Okay, well we're done guys for the day. Yeah. Uh, it's been a long day. It's been fun. It's been real. And uh I'm so tired. It's time for sleep. And another busy day tomorrow. So bye. Thanks for watching. Le leave a comment <laughs> telling us what you want us to do next and subscribe. <laughs> Later, hater. To see more of our boring lives.